Jessica Marie, you made your grand entry into our lives March 4th, 1989, 14, hours. When you first popped out, <laughs> all I saw were those giant eyelashes and a tiny fuzzball of newborn joy. <laughs> I counted 10 toes and then was absolutely startled by the possible Guinness Book world record length of your fingernails. <laughs> and then mortified as your mitts were exact mini replicas of mine, complete with my gnarly fat twisted fingers. My first thought, other than you might be a cute baby Yeti, was she's never going to be a hand model. <laughs> Well, we brought you home anyway. Four months later, your eyes were absolutely glued to mine. Your eyes were magnificent. They were vibrant, they were beaming with life and radiating just pure joy and wonder. This is 1991 or 90, and we got our first video camera. And Barbara Walters was the big interview lady for NBC back then. She was the goddess. And one of the questions she'd always ask in these celebrity things was, you know, what kind of plant would you be if you were a plant? <laughs> what kind of tree would you be if you were a tree? You know. And so I'm kind of testing it out. I'm sitting out on the stoop. I said, hey, Tommy, if you were an animal, what kind of animal would you be? He's two years old or less. He goes, party animal. <laughs> You know, I just turn the camera off and go, Cindy, it's not going to be good. <laughs> so my wife and I went to this, it was theater in the round. During the intermission to the play, I was telling my wife, did you hear that my youngest brother, Bob, had taken Jess to Lollapalooza? Uncle Bob lost Jess <laughs> for like an hour and a half. Had no idea where Jess was. And then he said, then I looked over and saw her on top of the mosh pit body surfing. So I knew everything was gonna be okay. My wife looked at me just in complete surprise and I just remember Jess running by me in her Peter Pan costume as one of the Lost Boys picking up a piece of scenery. And I said, hey Jess, did you have fun at Lollapalooza? And she like stops and turns and looks at me and she just goes, oh yeah. <laughs> Tom. It's gonna be an adventure, buddy. You guys might have noticed that Jess is intense. And she works harder than anybody I know. She laughs harder than anyone I know. And she loves more than anyone I know. And you two are just so good together. And Tom, you were so incredibly lucky to have her. Man, oh man, <laughs> we have been through some stuff. And we almost lost you. And after that horrible car accident, your eyes locked on mine again. This time with tears. And you asked, why me, Daddy? And I told you, because God wants you to do something great. I don't know what it is, but he has a very special plan for you. I still don't pretend to know what God's plan is. But standing here right now, I feel the power of the Holy Spirit, and I see God's amazing grace. Because it's your wedding day, and you're sitting right there with your best friend, now a husband, and you get to continue on that journey. My prayers were answered. Apparently, my answered prayers included you, Mr. Tom. <laughs> so, sorry, <George. laughs> I thought long and hard about what I wanted to say up here, and first thing that came to mind was my sister. And then one fateful day on a Saturday of the Phoenix Open, she asked me to come meet this guy. If he just gives me a good handshake and a cold beer, I'll be happy. <laughs> That's exactly what Tom did. He gave me a great handshake, 
I'm pretty sure one of his famous bear hugs. And then he asked me if I wanted a Coors Light. He came back, that Coors Light was cold, and I told him right then and there that he could have my sister. <laughs> it was one of the best decisions I've ever made, especially while alcohol was involved. Jessica and Tom were at a friend's house for a party. And apparently Tom had one shot at tequila beyond his common sense threshold. And he attempted what would have been a perfect jackknife dive, were it not, for the shallow end of the pool, shortening his graceful entry by exactly five feet. A little while later, I get a phone call. Dad, I need you to check Tom out. And I need you to see if he's seriously injured. We're Uber and over now. Well, they got to the house. And as I tended to his multiple lacerations and cuts and swollen nose from Pebble Tech Impact, I averted my attention to Jessica, and that's when I saw it. She was mesmerized. She was staring at Tom, her eyes glowing with pure joy and deep affection. It was a look that used to be for me. I was no longer her knight in shining armor. The couple that stands here before us clearly shares a special bond, something we've all seen. And I'd like to offer them a chance to express their love for each other. To that end, I will now invite the groom and bride to share their sacred vows. <laughs> Tom. If you think I'm going second, you're crazy. So, get this out of the way here. Jessica Marie Hale, we finally made it. After an incredible three and a half years, I finally have the opportunity and privilege to commit to you forever. Over those three and a half years, we have had some pretty exciting times. Lounging on the beach in Cabo, building snowmen, snow people, <laughs> and snowboarding in Jackson Hole. Even the overlooked or underappreciated midweek lunches I am always so excited to see you, and I absolutely cherish every moment. But as we stand here today, this moment, without a doubt, is the most exciting time of them all. I could stand here all day and promise you the world, but since there's a bunch of people waiting to party, <laughs> I'm gonna keep this short and sweet, just like you. <laughs> Jessica Hale, today, I promise you, I will always try to make you happy. <laughs> I promise to always, as you say, take care of you. We say it. <laughs> take care of me. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, and most importantly, I promise to always love you, as we say, all of the ways. You make me the happiest man in the entire world, and there will never be enough love in my heart to possibly repay you for that. But I will most certainly give you everything I have. I love you so much. So Jessica, your turn. Tom, recently on a lake trip, I was sitting with the other girls and I caught an incredible view. It was you, wearing giant reflective shield sunglasses, croquis, and American flag board shorts. You were standing knee deep in the water alone. You were taking in the landscape with a giant grin on your face as if you and the lake were sharing an inside joke. I turned to the girls, I pointed at you and answered a question that nobody asked. Yes, I said, I chose that. <laughs> Although I knew it'd get a little giggle, in all reality, it was not a joke. I love you for exactly who you are. I love all of your outrageous mustaches. I love that you do the robot by yourself when you think no one is watching. I don't do that. <laughs> I love those blue eyes and that broken nose. I love that you dance with me, with or without music. I love that you worry about me when I can't sleep. And even more so that you don't sleep as well when I'm not next to you. I love that you ride the roller coaster that is my brain with such compassion. <laughs> <laughs> and I 
love that I can tell you anything, no matter how crazy it may be, without fear of judgment or shame. Yes, I said, I chose that. From this day on, I vow to choose you, choose love, choose us, every day for always. I'm the luckiest girl in the world that you chose this, chose me, chose us. I love you all of the ways. And that's why I went first. <laughs> When you guys said I do, we were all instantly conjoined into a new village with another village and then became a new and larger bunch of village people. <laughs> Everybody knows there's an African proverb and it takes a village to raise a child. And believe it or not, there's an Irish blessing for that proverb. May those that love us, love us. And those that don't love us, May God turn their hearts. And if he doesn't turn their hearts, may he turn their ankles so we'll know them by their limping. <laughs> Tom and Jessica, we are your village people. I don't see anybody limping in either village. We love you. We will always be there for you. By the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church in the state of Arizona, I'm happy to pronounce Tom Bannon and Jessica Hale as husband and wife under the eyes of God. Tom Bannon, you may kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Bannon, let's party the way they want us to. Yeah.